Okay, so today's scenario is what if multiverse? So, where we start, let's start off with the Mario Bros. universe. So, Mario and Luigi will compete at the Mario Kart racing with Wario and Waluigi. And let's just say that's not how it goes at all. Bowser will crash into a competition, and he will be showing off his portal gun to open the portal to another dimension, where he always wins. So they're not going to let that happen, but the portal will open anyways. Courtney Whitmore, Sidney Berman, will fall into a portal and knock out Bowser. Mario and Luigi would want to thank Courtney and Sidney for defeating Bowser. But it turns out Courtney and Sidney wants to talk to Mario and Luigi for something important. Well, meanwhile, all of the SpongeBob SquarePants editors will be at the Krusty Krabs. And then all of the Loud House editors will appear in the SpongeBob universe. Um, hey, I know what you're thinking, but SpongeBob SquarePants takes place in underwater. How'd they breathe there? Um, yoke, yoke. SpongeBob, yoke. If SpongeBob can survive in land, maybe. The humans may survive in water. I mean, trust me, as long the Kedder doesn't point out you're in underwater, the Kedders will be fine. Anyway, the sea creature will be confused to see humans in the underwater. So, the Spongebob Squarepants universe and the Loud House universe will quickly have a rivalry and fight each other already. Spongebob will be using karate move. Well, Lincoln will be too fast and he will be dodging a lot of attacks quick. Well, blows wouldn't affect Spongebob. But Lincoln will be smarter, and Lincoln will be a handful to Spongebob. Lenny will have Patrick pin in the ground easily. Sandy will almost beat everyone. Well, the fight will get interrupted when Plankton opens a portal to another dimension where he finally gets the secret formula and owns the Krusty Krabs. Well, everyone from the Spongebob universe will see that the Louds are not bad people. And everyone in the Loud House universe will see that everyone in the Spongebob universe are not bad. So they're going to give the sea creature some respect to settle their differences. Spongebob and Lincoln will have their first talk, and they will see that they have something in common, like yiking superheroes, and yiking their wife, and having a show that is popular if they're breaking the fourth wall. Well, back where we started, Courtney and Sydney tells Mario and Luigi that they are from another universe and it's going to be the end of the world. And Mario and Luigi would like to help them. So Courtney will tell Mario and Luigi her secret identity about being Stargirl. So they will make a ultimate team. Meanwhile, Plankton and Morag will team up, so they will break into the Krusty Krab. Patrick and Lincoln will be knocked out, 
and SpongeBob and Lenny will get kidnapped, and they will be taken to the Star Killer base from Star Wars. And while they're there, they will meet Jeffy, and they will interact with him. And Jeffy will be the anti-hero in the multiverse crisis. So with Jeffy's help, they will escape the Star Killer base. Mario, Sydney, Star Girl, and Yoigi will meet. 11. Well, Sydney would want to attack first and ask questions later, and then Eleven will use her telekinesis to send her flying. But that will only make Sydney angry. Well, Stargirl will remind her that it's four against one, and they can take her. So Sydney will go with Stargirl idea. So they're going to four feet one her. And since Stargirl has experience of fighting someone with telekinesis, they will have a chance of beating Eleven. But Eleven will get pissed off, and then, then she will send everyone flying. Well, Samantha Oruso from Cobra Kai will attack Eleven by behind, and then Sam will convince Eleven that they should help each other. So Eleven will calm herself down and agree. Lincoln and Patrick will search for Lenny and Spongebob, and they will meet Dante, and they will be helping Dante fight off the demons, and they would want to work together right after that. Right after Spongebob, Lenny, and Jeffy escaping, they will meet Scorpion, and Spongebob and Scorpion will have a crazy fight. Well, the teenage bounty hunters will stop the fight, and they will tell Scorpion that they were on the same bow, and they should work together. Well, Scorpion would prefer to work alone. But, he will change his mind, eventually. Patrick and Lenny will find Spongebob and Lenny, and they will be happy to see each other. Scorpion will interact with Dante, and the teenage bounty hunter will fangirling on Dante, because he is the mercenary just like them. Well, Plankton and Morag will recruit more villains that are superior than the heroes. Eleven, Mario, Yuigi, Stargirl, Samantha, and Sydney will not waste no time. They will go to the Starkiller base to fight the villains that open the portal. Morag and Plankton will survive. Wait, no, not survive. Um, surprise. Yes, okay. Plankton and Morag will surprise the heroes with the villains that they recruited. Magneto, Terry Silver, the Human Ultra Knight, Bowser, Thanos, but without the Infinity Gauntlet. Well, these guys are screwed. They will all get beat up right after the insane fight. Plankton will tell them that's what happens if they get into his way. Well, Stargirl will get angry and she will continue fighting. Well, Thanos will end up breaking Stargirl's arm and she will be screaming in pain. 
And Bowser will be ready to kill Mario since he won. But Dante and the other heroes will show up just in time to interrupt. And they will return back to the Krusty Krab. And when they came back, they will be taken to the hospital. And then Wink and Loud will start to get an idea. But Sydney wouldn't want to hear it. She will be a quitter now. Sydney will tell them that she just want to save the world, not get her butt kicked by the multi-first candidates. So Sydney will leave. Courtney would want to go after her, but Worry will stop her. And then they will continue listening to Lincoln's plan. Since Plankton and Morag has a army of multiverse villains, they should have an armies of multiverse heroes. Jeffy will go back to his universe to recruit everyone from his universe. Jeffy will tell Junior everything that happens. So Junior will agree to help recruit more people and more heroes will come and help save the multiverse. Well, Sydney will return and she will apologize for walking away from the fight when they needed her. And, and Sydney will brought the JSA to tag along. And now they're going to go back to the Star Killer base. Plankton will see that the heroes are asking for more, so they will get ready for another fight. But this time, Plankton and Morag will be surprised that they brought more people, and now they don't have no chance. Plankton and Morag will be easily defeated. And Thanos will be the last villain they will have to fight. Super Instinct Shaggy will show up. And Thanos is his fight now. Super Instinct Shaggy wins, of course. And then another portal will open. And the Teenage Bounty Hunters will be surprised to see April as the Bounty Hunter from another universe. And everyone else from another dimension will show up. Well, Bowser will start taking things into his own hands. He will stab Iron Man by behind. And everyone will be terrified for what just happened. Bowser will tell everyone that he shut down his weakness a long time ago. And he isn't going to fool around anymore. Peter Parker will be enraged and he will attack Bowser. But Bowser will take him down. And he will be ready to burn him alive. Then Mario will save the day. And now is a fight between them. The fight will be evening match. They wouldn't land a hit on each other when it comes to hand to hand. Well, Morag will start to think straight. She will end up redeeming herself. Mario and Bowser will be still fighting. Well, Bowser will end up getting the upper hand. 
and he will be about to finish him off. But Morag will attack Bowser by behind. Bowser will fight back and easily beat Morag. And then Mario comes back with pulling up a fight. And Bowser will have a even harder time landing a hit on Mario. Then Mario will finish him off with the classics tail spinning defeat and then the multiverse crisis has ended everyone goes back to their universe and things will go back where it were and the scenarios will continue in every universe especially everywhere in mine Month later, John B. and his friends will discover a portal. Daniel, Johnny, and Chosen will walk out the portal. They will tell the kids they need help for what is about to come. They will hesitate, but they will help them. And they're going to make a group of multiverse heroes team. And it will be unstoppable. Everyone across the multiverse can be heroes. A group of multiverse characters will be protecting the whole universe for a while. And one day... All of the multiverse characters will be living on one universe now. So we have Earth Prime around. With all these characters, we will have the multiverse music battle exist. And all these superheroes, Olympic Games, well in either other way, Earth Prime will be huge. With the multiverse characters living on the same universe, it will be some creative teamwork. And it will be epic. With a great trio. So, what's your teamwork in Earth Prime? Comment down below what multiverse teamwork you prefer? Well, me personally, I think Stargirl and Deadpool would be a good team up in my Earth Prime. So, how about you? And that's how I'm going to end this What If. That was more like 20 minutes a half, but it was close enough. Well, that was the season finale of my What If Theory. Since I just did What If Multi first. So I see you guys in season two.